Hello and good day, beautiful soul. Welcome to another segment of Wisdom of the Angels. Live the life you're destined to live. Today, it's brought to you by Ofaniel, Angel of Divine Order and Divine Cycle. Divine cycles are usually, we talk about, you know, the rhythm and the flow of energy, um, your energy, your thoughts, your intuition, your connection with your source, your guides. It can also be related to what you, the flow of your business, whether you're working for someone else or working for yourself, there's a flow to everything. There's an in and an out, an ebb, feast and famine, hopefully not so much the famine part, but the ups and the downs, when you have just launched or completed a huge project, there's some down energy, not necessarily a lower vibration, but your physical self becomes a little depleted because you have been focusing so much energy, thought, emotion into a particular project. For example, just a few weeks ago, we finished um, our next book, Angels, Success and Prosperity, Become a Mover and Shaker of Your Reality. And at the same time, like two days later, literally maybe three, we then finished the preliminary parts for launching and starting to promote and invite people to join us for the Living Spirit and Wellness Global Directory. Well, it wasn't initially planned that way. That's just how it happened. And so I've been still, this is what, two weeks later or so, and I'm still recovering some of that energy and creating a new momentum at a higher level or a different level of energy. It also coincides, the divine cycle coincides with the moon, the full moon, the new moon, with the tides of the ocean, with um, solar eclipse or solar flares, those kinds of things. And even though sometimes it looks like, feels like, things are out of balance and maybe sometimes they are but it's a different kind of being out of balance it's one of recovery or renewal recharging your energy and that's a different kind of being in balance because you're taking the time to rest to reconnect in a different way maybe to take a vacation um, to take a break from projects and there are several other projects we have lined up and I have chosen to take a small break rather than dive right back into another huge project. How does this relate to you, beautiful soul? Well, take a look at what you're doing or not doing at the moment and why. We have some very powerful energies. We just finished um, November 11th. So 11-11 is a huge portal. Anytime the month the number of the month and the day line up, that is extra energy being pulled. And if we're going to go into it just a little bit more, every time the clocks change around the world, there is a stretching of time. And so things become out of balance for a little bit as we all get back into the same rhythms once again and time merges or heals itself from the stretching. When we have an equinox, you know, those are cycles. When we have day and night, those are cycles. So even in those moments or those instances where it looks like things in your life are out of balance, perhaps there's more balance somewhere else. And how can you bring those together? So what do you do to get out of your own way and get into the flow of energy allowing you and what you want to show itself to you. So rather than focusing on what's not working, focus on what is working and how to do more of that and to bring yourself into a balance where you are in the flow of your own cycles. That makes sense? And so how does Ophaniel help you with that? Just ask her. She is the angel of divine cycles and divine order. And just because the wind is blowing, so to speak, 
and blowing the leaves of autumn or there's a storm doesn't mean there's not peacefulness and serenity and a sense of calm below the surface. So what do you do to get out of your own way and to get back into a rhythm that works with you and supports you rather than you fighting against it? Pop your answer, if you would, in the comments. I'll be back around. Please say hello. Share, like, heart this video, and we'll be back around very soon. Bye-bye for now.